I'm Joe Bates, and I am the Whatcom County Communications Coordinator for Whatcom County Government. In June of 1999, I was a reporter for Newsview, KBOS TV. I was there for 17 years. The source of the ignition of last week's fuel spill into Whatcom Creek was revealed yesterday. The theme of the afternoon news conference was if the gasoline had not ignited when and where it did and the fuel had gotten into the inner city of Bellingham, the damage and loss of life would have been much, much worse. I remember interviewing Frank King and his wife and looking into their eyes after Wade had died and the tragedy that that was, the way he died and the way the others died, looking into their eyes and just seeing the deepest, darkest pain. We've all been through pain, but to lose a child in that way uh, on a you know, carefree June afternoon was just unbelievable. And that'll stay with me forever, that that image of, of their pain, I think, reverberated throughout this community and probably throughout the region after that. It, it really changed Bellingham, and I think, like I said, the, I think the pipeline is the safest pipeline now, and we certainly economically need pipelines, and we need the refinery, and we all drive cars and fly in planes and, and those kinds of things. But it's just, I, I think we didn't know. We thought it was safe, and obviously something went terribly wrong that day. Three people lost their lives, and it changed the community forever.